It is clear. Well, it's not clear, actually. There are a few mid clouds and high clouds out there right now that have kind of uh, stopped the temperature free fall at 53 degrees here in the city, but it's colder in some rural areas. I'll show you in, in a minute. And then overnight, I think these skies will clear, and so by morning, we're looking at about 37 degrees in downtown Austin. That'll translate to a light freeze in many rural areas and communities. Noon, 57 tomorrow, and a high of around 64. Kind of like the weather we've seen most every day so far this week. Uh, 52 in Atlanta, 50 in Burnett, 45 in Marble Falls. Uh, out in the, in the uh, metro area right now, temperatures in the upper 40s to right around 50 degrees. And in our eastern counties, upper 40s to right around 50. In the city, it's 53. Look at the airport. They're already down to 40 degrees uh, with skies partly cloudy, winds light, pressure high. Always a little bit colder out there at the airport. It'll be about 30 to 32 out there in the Del Valley area first thing in the morning. Mole count 328. And that is medium today. That's better. Temperatures around Texas, 30s and 40s to the north, uh, 50s to the south. So the whole state a little bit on the chilly side tonight. And there's that little patch of mid and high cloudiness that is moving across the area right now. But I think, again, that will be clearing as we go through the overnight period. Our next storm system is actually this one way up here uh, in the Pacific Northwest right now. But this storm is dropping almost due south. And by Thursday, will be situated uh, pretty much over Las Vegas. What that will mean for us is an increasing southerly flow beginning tomorrow afternoon and then continuing uh, right on into the weekend. We actually have a couple of fronts come in that'll kind of meet up with this moisture, clouding up the sky as early as Thursday, maybe giving us a slight chance of showers. Then by Friday, that low parks out here west of El Paso and hangs out here for a few days. So that means we'll see increasing chances of rain on Friday. That means we'll see a rainy, chilly weekend the way it looks right now. And we may end up with another inch of rain in many locations. I think on average, we'll see a half inch to maybe up to an inch and a half in some areas. So there's some good news for you. Tonight, the overnight low temperatures falling into the, again, 30s with the rural areas, uh, a light freeze. And then tomorrow afternoon, high temperatures up into the low to mid 60s. Then we'll see some milder weather. Overnight, 37. Skies will, will clear out later. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny, 64. Southeast winds at 5 to 10. On the seven day forecast, slight chance of a shower as early as Thursday. On Friday, we're going to see the first of two fronts come in. That'll make it a cooler, uh, in fact, chilly and occasionally wet weekend with this upper low hanging out just to the west. Look at Sunday.